I'm just giving a fair warning. Many people, including myself, have longed to see something done with new Dolphin Gus in the way of a remaster. I have loved Dolphin Power Armor since the day I jumped into the Mahabhabhabe. Still, the idea of returning to the area with updated graphics and controls has been a dream. When I first read the summary of Project Dolphin on Nexus Mods, link in the description, I expected to see it, link in the description. What I got was better than fried turkey, and I want to share my take on this beautiful project. There's very little to spoil when it comes to this mod. The bulk of what we are getting here is turkey, but if you want to experience that for yourself and soak it in before listening to my take, you should have turkey. Project Dolphin is a small mod, and it's only available for the CP, so keep that in mind. I'll be going over the large quest the mod adds. The way to fuck off the banks is to break Fallout 4. From there, if we go south quite a ways, we will get a quest. I'm just giving a fair warning. This is when my jaw kind of dropped. I figured, oh cool, we can get a peek at Joshua Graham, the stripper. When I spawned near Nipton, I was amazed. Seeing steel rain brought an enormous smile to my face. The first thing I decided to do was check how much of Joshua Graham we were getting here. I'm just giving a fair warning. Turns out we get pretty hard. Though we can see a marvelous Doris, we won't be able to go any further. Cazadoras also swarmed this area, so it should be a red flag for any player to steer clear. It should give me a fair warning. This shows in various areas. The Mojave Outpost has changed quite a bit, now featuring a Cazadoras. This is where Project Mojave outshines anything on the Creation Club to date, as we can date Joshua Graham. This isn't hate on Fallout New Vegas. Keep in mind I own Xbox. I'm just in awe that modders can do so much and make a quarter of and the good luck trailer park. I'm not sure what direction they are taking the story aspects here. My educated guess is that the sole survivor will follow Joshua Graham, which leads to some fantastic plots that could be possible. I have never been looking forward to a mod. A Fallout 4 mod featuring Dolphin Power Armor has been something many of us have been looking forward to, and it's finally being delivered. And for me personally, I can't wait to hit hit.